And now it's time to continue on this weird journey. Oh boy. Oh boy. First up we have Foster Rowan. A simple Frogger clone. Ah, that's it. It's me or that best. Uh, may graphically look okay, but... Not really that much sound to deal with. Plus, it's easy in the first six stages. As long as you know what you're doing. So, Sarah, this. Axed. Next up, we have Curling 2010. <coughs> you press A to shoot a ball, it's basically dodgeball. A game that nobody would want to play. Though generally, it's another mediocre game. The graphics don't really have that much, much an offer, and it, the only music here is this little bouncy tune of sorts, which, to be completely honest, I would honestly rather listen to something like that. Or, Oh, cup three, which actually does have some cool music in the top of the screen. Anyways, I'm gonna consider this a five out of ten. This game, why does it? Why is it on this collection? I don't know. <coughs> you literally just do this. Here's what you do, yeah. You. Find out which eggs are dumb in the screen, and sometimes it's reverse where you have to know which eggs come for the least of the screen. Well, let's cover the least of this cube. I don't know, square. It it can really get on your nerves. Right. It's just not playing this one. This one is not free enough for you know. The people who want to have some good good times. Okay, this one. I actually really like the music of this one. Oh, I'm cheery to this. So in this game, you're a horse and you have to defeat all the pots. It's actually a really clever game. Well, the graphics may not be pleasing enough, and the sound isn't too much, except for the for that cool music. You certainly do do have some cool ideas here in a or at least one cool idea. That'll certainly keep her going. This one is definitely worth your time. What's not worth your time is flash memory. You just pick the numbers in order from those freaking stars. That's it. This game. Why does it? Why is it on this collection? Who thought that they would just put this on the collection? I think. Hey, nobody would think this is bad. Sure. Like the little kids could have fun with this, but. Are people like me? No, no. This, this is not. This is, no, technically, I'm <laughs> pretty good in this game. I just don't want to play this. Well, this one may be rather loud. I would say that the graphics are quite, quite good. And this game actually does have a nice premise. Yeah. And so, here's a little the dock on one side, you have to, you have to dominate you have to capture the others. You have to make your side dominate the most of the screen. By like that, you're gonna capture some and turn them into to their side. This game is generally really nice, and I to play. Is it just you? Play for itself. It really is a fun time. 
Did we have hide and seek? This game is, well, slick. Yep, it's that old cup and ball game. Except they put a freaking dinosaur in an egg. That's what they did. This game is boring. It's not worth your time at all. Next! Now, this is the one with the bad music. I was sorry, back in 2018. I can honestly say that. Uh, say this one really, really just. You just have to. What is the. I guess fun rule that is. If. If I even know what the heck the rule is, it just switches from time to time for some weird reason. I guess this time it's like. Only two to be on screen. This little cube. And I'm. Now it's switched around or. Um, yeah, this game. This one is also not worth your time. Next. Now, this one, you're gonna have to be uh, very patient in order to play this one. You see? You're Jack over here, and then you have to go jump on a bunch of platforms. But the problem is that you can only jump straight up. You can't jump diagonally. You can go, you can't go horizontally nor vertically. You can just jump straight. And with that, you're gonna have to be really careful of where you take your jumps and when you time them. This is not really the game for the ones that have a lot, that don't have much patience. But if you do have patience to play this, go ahead. Well, you know, we have at least a semi-decent columns club. This time it's Jewel Magic. Some say this is bad. I generally think that this game has its merits. See, you have to shape up these these little, little shapes, and you have the little correct throw. But see, not everyone gets it up. See, there's something you gotta have to know before you play this game. See, the right side up ones <coughs> don't match with the upside down ones. Mean that if you want, and that, you, that if you were to want to, you know, connect two right side ups and one upside down, you can't. It's gonna have to be three right side ups or three upside down. So you're, so you're gonna have to be really careful of how you plan them. Which will not really be that easy. Let's just say. Yeah, as you can see. And I can shred her. But trust me, it's it, it is it can be fun. Jira formula on the other end. Well as you can see, it's just a math game. I mean Yeah, I know you're getting bored of these, but sadly however, you're gonna have to deal with them. And these why are these games even on the collection? I really, really am questioning that. So I would say this game is certainly not worth your time nor experience as a game. Next. Now here is Lost World Sudoku. Why does this exist? I don't know. Uh, nor do I care. It really does. Ugh. I have wanted on to play this game. Nor do I want to even play it again. It's, it bores me to absolute death. So I will say just don't play this catastrophe. Unless you like Sudoku. Okay, this one, we're gonna have to turn down your volume for this one. Dear God, this one. This one is one of the worst of the collection. It's 
a really bad version of Majon. Thanks. It's slow, graphically super ugly, and the music is just... Wow. How is this accepted? Who thought this would be a good idea? I'm honestly just... I'm amazed. It really does sound a lot more than you could think. Okay, it's just... However, though, it is not as bad as... Well, that would go for later. Thankfully, though, we do have two more games before we get to that one. As we have Meatloaf Rotation. That is actually not not as bad as you could believe. Well, it is certainly rather boring. It's at the least to play it. It's at least, you know, well, it's a bully. At least it gives you some chick of what the heck you're doing. So I will give this one a bit of a one a bit of of the credit. Yes. Yeah, sometimes it get confusing. Hey, this game is just brain switch, just with more. <sighs> yeah. You know I sound really bored when it's this. Why is still? So, you're not really raising that much of my IQ. Or so you just give him to test my patience. And now this. The worst of this console. <clears throat> just why? This isn't memory. You don't get to see the cards before you before you try to choose them. It just slips right into the game and expects you to to know what the cards are. Thought I was showing them to you first before flipping the back. Oh my god! This game is just flip the cards around and and hopefully you find a matching one. That's all what it is. This game. Do I even want to call this a game? This is the worst kind of memory game. All those memory games aren't really that good to begin with, but this one. Even for memory game standards, this is bad. This is so wrong. Yep, we have the worst here. Thankfully, though, there's stuff better than this. The final one for this. Part is mirror mirror. And generally, I gotta say, it it actually is pretty decent. While the graphics may not be that good, it does have a pretty nice challenge to it. It's rather hard later on. Oh, and I like the music too. So very calming. Velt Rider Sam too. Well, that's enough for this part. Let's see you guys next time, and bye.